In this video, I'll be doing something a little different than usual, a decorative shelf with LED accents. Normally, I wouldn't build something like this, but I was approached by an Amazon seller, Pankton Villa, asking if I would use their lights in one of my videos. To build the shelf, I ripped a scrap 7-ish foot 1x down to 3.5 inches wide. This will be used for the top. I cut another board right away to use for the sides, so they'll be the exact same width. I ran all the boards through a planer to clean up the faces and make sure they were all the same thickness. Though, it wouldn't really matter if they weren't, there are no butt joints. I maybe just wanted an excuse to use the planer. The bottom of the shelf will be made from a 1x6, so I ran that through the planer as well. With all the wood prepped, it was time to cut the boards to length. The shelf will be 7 feet wide, so the top and bottom boards were cut to 7 feet. The side boards I cut at 16 inches, though in retrospect, that may have been longer than I really needed. It will depend a lot on what you want to put on the shelf. Even though the shelf will be mounted on the wall and above a countertop of sorts, I cut two 45 degree angles on the bottom to prevent an eye from getting gouged out or anything like that. With all the boards cut, it was time to assemble. I glued and brad nailed the uprights between the top and the bottom. Once the glue had dried, I went back and added screws for extra strength and stability. To give the shelf a bit of a rustic look, I decided to use some small logs for the two central divider supporter things. I had some branches lying around from a tree that I had removed. I found one with some nice character and cut it into two 16 inch lengths. The tricky part here was keeping both ends parallel to each other. Having the stop on my chop saw table made it a lot easier to get the ends lined up, as I was able to keep the cut end flush against the stop and then rotate the branch around until it sat on the saw nicely. You could of course just use two more boards the same size as the ends if you wanted. I just screwed the logs in place, as I couldn't figure out how I would glue them in without making a big mess of glue all over. The LED strips will run on the back of the lower shelf and the front of the top, so I made sure that the logs left enough clearance where needed for the lights to be run through. To mount the shelf, I used three small corner brackets. I found the studs in the wall and did a little figuring to see where they would end up on the shelf, and then mounted the three brackets with some machine screws. I'm not planning on putting anything heavy on the shelf, so the three brackets on the top should be more than enough, but if extra support was required, I could just do the same on the lower shelf. Now we get to the fun part, installing the lights. The product I received was 10 meters long, which I split into two 5 meter lengths, so I could put one on the top facing down and one on the bottom facing up. There was a solder joint right in the middle of the strip, so I just unsoldered it, but these lights can be cut to length every few LEDs. In fact, in the video, one such area is just below my thumb. The resulting halves were 5 inches shorter than the interior of the shelf, so I spaced them 2.5 inches in from the end. Both ends of the LED strip come with a connector where the power supply plugs in. I lined both of those up to the same side and cut the connector off. With the ends cut, I proceeded to drill a hole through the sides of the shelf that I could feed the wire through. These wires will all be in the corner of the room and almost invisible unless you really go out of your way to try and see them. The LEDs come with an adhesive backing, so installation is a breeze. Of course, to ensure best adhesion, you should make sure the surface is clean and free of dust before mounting. I joined both positive and negative wires and soldered on a connector that the power plug can plug into. Doing this, I have the ability to unplug the unit from the wall and from the power supply and receiver. I wrapped all the solder joints in electrical tape and then used a ton of hot glue to hold the wires in place on the side. It looks super ugly, but again, you can't see it unless you really try. Hanging the shelf was a little tricky as I didn't have anyone around to give me a hand. I had to measure things to find the location for the first hole and then drill and then lift it up with one hand and try to screw it in with the other. Kind of a pain in the butt. But once that first bracket was securely attached to the wall, I was just able to use a level and drill the remaining two holes much easier. The lights are pretty neat. One thing that I haven't seen done elsewhere is using an RF remote rather than an IR. Most LED strips require that you have an IR receiver visible someplace. And when you want to turn them on or off, you have to point the remote in that general area. With an RF remote, you don't need to point at anything as it's communicating with the radio signal. 
The LEDs have several levels of brightness, a breathing effect where they fade back and forth from low to high, and the remote lets you set a timer as well. 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, three hours, and lastly four hours. Oh, and lest I forget, you can turn them on and off with the remote as well. The remote has a range of about 60-ish feet. Of course, that depends on what's between you and the receiver. The LEDs themselves are daylight white and at full brightness reach 1,400 lumens. The radio receiver, which is in line on the power supply, has controls on it as well, so you can turn the lights on and off and adjust the brightness without needing the remote. I've linked to the product on Amazon in the video description. Do yourself a favor, check them out if you're in the market for LED accent lights. And that wraps this video up, so I'll leave you with some glamour shots here of the lights in action of the shelf, the remote, you know, all that good stuff to encourage you to check this product out. And I will see you guys next time.